Take a look at this picture. Let me know, did somebody survive or not? If you want to answer, stay through the whole video and I will let you know. Just based off this horrific crash, it don't look too good. Let's just say that. Anyway, after trying to look at the story, I was getting seemed to be like misled information and all these ads and stuff uh, popped up on this uh, particular website. This is happened in Detroit, but it was on the Georgia News um, page. So I decided to look through it to see what's what. And yeah, as you can see, all these ads and crap. But you can get all your information from the comment section if you can't actually find the info of the person who's telling the story. Um, apparently, they have thinking it's one car and the other, but apparently the challenger that was speeding just end up hitting somebody regardless. Okay, guys, so the dude who got in, apparently in the crash, like I said, uh, after we going back to the comments and trying to read up on it i'm guessing the challenger and the caliber got in a car accident or it, it just it's just a, a weird um whoever wrote that story is a weird situation um but if y'all know any details on it y'all let me know um but anyway uh regardless uh the kid he nearly lost his life and luckily he survived which is crazy um, I think he had like a head injury or something like that and he survived. So hopefully um, he, you know, get by his uh, injuries. But um, just based off that, I would thought somebody died. But everybody survived uh, that was involved in this uh, car accident. Um, don't, like with a car, you don't want to play with your life, especially with a car. Uh, I wouldn't be going that crazy amount of speed. And if I do go that crazy amount of speed, I am very cautious and aware of my area. I'm not around other people, putting them in danger. Um, if I want to, you know, step on it a little bit. But um, can't be doing that. I ain't no video games, especially with a car. I know the challengers, especially, you know, people go crazy uh, with them, especially with the scats and all that. People go really crazy with them. And how I know, because I either A, been around them or be seeing videos and stuff of it um i have a video of people going crazy in a chargers or challengers and stuff and i just just find it crazy um and whoever well if he got the car itself that's good but if the parents if they got it for him they know better because I know some people who kids want a charger or a challenger and they said no absolutely not um because they know what like could be like the danger and uh risk it could be especially you know being that it's a cool car which it is pretty cool but nah a hundred miles per hour and i like i said my theory of the story I mean, if they in traffic, ain't no telling. People probably driving up on each other asses and people reaction times slow as hell. They probably caused one accident. The dude wasn't probably paying attention because there's been times where me, I can admit, I wasn't paying attention. I'll look up in a second. I'm like literally close by uh, somebody and stuff. Like I could be like distracted and somebody could like probably break check me and stuff. And then I've been in a couple situations like that. I might have to do that as a story time, uh, sometime. But you gotta distance yourself because you don't know what people are capable of uh, these days, especially how they drive and all. And I don't even think people drive the speed limit anymore. Like the people you think drive the speed limit, like grandmas and all that, nobody is driving the speed limit because I have been driving the speed limit and all I see 30, 50, cars passing me like nothing and there's people you wouldn't think with speed and they speed but i don't know what to say uh everybody just needs to be aware i always tell like folks like y'all need to be aware like give yourself distance because if you up on each other you don't have no good reaction time uh if everybody's spaced out you got a good good pretty good reaction time but you can't control other people actions you could be driving perfectly fine and something still happened to you you can just be walking somewhere 
and something just drop randomly out the sky on you and stuff like things sometimes you can't avoid but um just being cautious of others uh will make the whole situation and stuff better so if the 19 year old was apparently driving the speed limit like he's supposed to then i'm pretty sure that could have been avoided in a way it could have been avoided like what the hell are you doing 100 miles proud for it but like i said probably know why racing or just trying to be you know dump on some gas have some fun with it but uh it's a lesson learned i'm pretty sure uh whenever he get recovered but i'm gonna look into this story a little bit more and actually get like information um i'm just I always touch on the surface of what i see and i don't like putting false information or anything uh, out of that nature so but well, i just want to touch on saying like yeah the guy survived and he should have never been going that crazy fast for no damn reason. It's absolutely crazy. If you're not on a track or anywhere else, or even on a straight road, like I said, if you don't got no people around, you know you got straight road for you and all that, then ain't no need putting other people in danger, I'm telling you. Like, I've been in situations where people was flying by me, flying. Like, I've been in situations, like, I'm gonna have to do, like, a story time with, like, all my car situations and all that. And me, I like, you know, driving pretty fast and stuff, but I'll be mainly cruising and all. Um, so. Damn. He survived, though. That's good. And hopefully I can survive when this is a uh, rooftop, finna be on this rooftop, changing out some things. I just wanted to make this video. If y'all stay this far, thank you, uh subscribe to me i uh, up here about this uh, situation um i'm still thinking about the situation and i'm nowhere near the situation like this happened all the way in detroit i'm all the way in georgia so just like looking at the story or hearing the news about it and then seeing the picture of the car that had me like damn you really survived that type of crash and he wasn't even drunk probably he wasn't even drunk i don't see no social saying he was drunk or anything he just was speeding but anyway, y'all be safe out there. Have fun, be safe, and be be aware of your surrounding. And I'm gonna drop this video, it's like 11 something about now. I gotta get to work. I don't wanna be out tonight, all, all night, even though I'm on call and stuff. Um, be safe out there, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Peace, and uh, hey man, if y'all ain't seen the Tahoe video, go look at the Tahoe video, go look at it. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, hopefully, everything goes as all as well. That's all I'd say. Be safe. See ya.